What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Kelvin's Garage. Today we have a very very special episode for you. We are going to bleed our brakes. Last episode when we changed our brake pads, we actually also bled the brake caliper, okay? And so that is a very very important step in making sure the brake pedal feel is nice and strong, okay? So if there's any worry that the uh, any dirt, contaminants, or air bubbles have gotten into the brake system, it's very, very critical to bleed your brakes so that they work effectively and immediately when you step on the pedal. Let's say you're driving on the road and you're stepping on the brakes and then you feel that the pedal is actually very mushy, okay? And not only that, it goes way low before you start feeling any resistance on the brake pedal, all right? And when you've also stepped on the brake pedal for a while, it takes a while to stop, okay? So it feels like the brakes are just not working like they once did. In that case, you may need to bleed your brakes. So today we're going to bleed our front driver's side brake caliper, okay? We're gonna show you what you need to do the brake bleed job and we're gonna show you exactly how it's done. Okay, so like I said earlier, it's a good time to bleed our brakes as well, okay? So all you need to do there is have a empty bottle, okay? Clear one preferably so you can see what's happening. Okay, and a piece of hose, okay, and we're gonna bleed the brakes. Now the reason why we wanna bleed the brakes is because air or uh, other contaminants could have gotten into the braking system. So then when you step on the pedal, it'll feel mushy, okay? Well, it will not feel strong, all right? And so we bleed the brakes so that we purge the system from any bubbles or any contaminants so that it's only just the brake fluid which is in the system and this stuff is not compressible okay so it'll work uh, immediately on the piston okay to give you a really strong brake feel okay so we're going to take some of the brake fluid and we're going to pour some into this canister okay and then we're going to set it up the hose on the brake bleed screw on the caliper okay make sure your container is nice and clean and dry okay make sure there's no water or any other uh, fluids in there okay try to make sure that it's only brake fluid inside okay and we only need to fill the uh, container up to about that much or so okay just enough so that the uh, hose uh, connected to the uh, brake valve the brake screw uh, can suck in the brake fluid from the bottom okay so that when um, we are bleeding the brakes okay no air can get into the brake through the bleed, brake bleed screw okay so we're just going to uh, put some brake fluid in the container here now uh, you could use the brake fluid container itself okay but then what will happen is then whatever particles in the brake system are coming out it'll end up contaminating your bottle okay so we don't want to do that either okay so just put about that much okay maybe a little bit more if you need to okay and uh, this should be enough okay another thing you want to do is make sure that your brake reservoir actually has enough fluid in it uh, the last thing we want to do is work with an empty brake reservoir and what that will do is when you step on the brake then the fluid or the air uh, will come in through the reservoir and that will replace um, any empty space in the brake system okay so make sure that there's fluid inside the reservoir okay near to the top if possible okay and it's going to go down as we uh, bleed the brakes and then uh, push the fluid out through the uh, brake bleeding screw so i would say this is a good amount here okay we can move this aside and we can easily fill this with extra if we need to okay next thing we're gonna do is we are going to set up our brake bleeding system here so if you look over here this is where the brake bleed screw is okay and so what happens is that there's a little hole in it first there's a dust cap so let me take out the dust cap okay your dust cap may be damaged or old and mine certainly is but to very carefully remove the dust cap okay and we can reuse it again later okay mine's already breaking so we'll need another one in the future Okay, but remove the dust cap, okay, and if you look here at the brake bleed screw, okay, you see that there's a little hole in it, okay, and you also see that there is this uh, screw-like thing around it, okay, so that it's like a hexagon, it's like a, it's like a nut, okay, and so what happens is that right now it's in its fully closed position, but I can actually unscrew this, and when I unscrew this, it opens the flow of the brake fluid through this hole here, all right, and so that when somebody steps on the brake, okay, when you press on the brake, uh, brake fluid will flow out of this hole instead of into the instead of into the uh, uh, piston okay and so the reason why we want to do this is that any air which is in the hoses and so forth gets pushed out of here so at this point what you'll do is you'll attach the hose okay like so okay okay and then you're going to 
connect the hose okay stick the other end of the hose into the bottle like so okay and so that it's fully submerged on the other end in the, the brake fluid all right and this is important because uh, like I said we do not want to let any kind of brake fluid uh, sorry we do not want any kind of air uh, to be sucked back in through the uh, brake bleed hose back into the system okay so when you step on the brakes only fluid will come out of this hose and into the bottle and whatever air was stuck in the system and then when the brakes are released only fluid will get sucked back in or nothing at all okay so 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 this is the the game basically okay the next part is one of the most challenging ones and that's because you actually need somebody to sit in the car and depress the brake pedal repeatedly okay as you bleed the brakes out all right so ask your brother ask your friend ask your neighbor ask somebody to help you out and step on the brakes uh, while someone you pre presumably are holding the brake bleed fluid bottle all right so in other words get somebody to sit in the car step on the brake repeatedly step release step release so that the fluid can be flushed from the reservoir through the system here through the brake bleed screw through the hose and into the bottle okay and as that person is repeatedly stepping on the brake pedal what you're gonna do is well first of all nothing will happen as they do that right the brake pedal will feel exactly the same as it's always felt okay but once they start what you'll do is you actually loosen this okay with a 10 millimeter okay 10 millimeter and that will start the flow of the brake fluid through the tube and into the reservoir right here okay so once that flow starts you know they can keep on stepping on the brake pedal okay until the system has been fully bled from air okay and then once that happens once you see only fluid through the tube then you tighten this back up okay quickly tighten it back up okay you don't want to overdo this because if you overdo it what will happen is that all the brake fluid from the reservoir will flush the system it will flush the system all the way back down to this uh, this brake bleed screw right here and then you'll be left with nothing in the reservoir what will happen is the reservoir will start pumping air into the system and then you're going to be causing yourself a much bigger problem okay so this is kind of the name of the game it's a little bit tricky all right so basically have your friend family member uh, press the brake pedal repeatedly okay unlock the brake bleed screw let the fluid flow out into the uh, the uh, repository right here okay and then as soon as you have done that a couple times tighten this back up okay and then you will have bled the brakes okay so while you're down near the caliper with the brake bleed hose screw and bottle your assistant will very carefully hop into the driver's seat and start depressing the brake pedal like so in and in a repeated manner okay so they'll step on it as hard as they can and then release step release step release and while this is happening you'll be down near the uh, brake bleed screw and you're going to loosen it okay now as you loosen it what will happen is that when you loosen it and the assistant spe steps down on the brake pedal the fluid will start flowing through the brake bleed screw and the hose into the uh, your bottle okay and also your assistant will feel not much resistance on the pedal uh, when that happens okay and basically what you're doing there is your assistant is pushing the hydraulic fluid through the brake system okay and into the uh, brake bleed screw to the hose and to the bottle okay and that's forcing any air and contaminants out of the braking system now as soon as you retighten the brake bleed screw the pedal feel will feel very stiff and very firm again and that's exactly what we want okay because when you tighten the brake bleed screw then the hydraulic fluid is then going to flow into the caliper itself into the caliper piston and then you'll get a very very strong braking feel okay so that's the whole purpose is to improve the brake feel uh, by eliminating any uh, air bubbles and contaminants in the hydraulic fluid system okay so we're gonna open the bleed screw okay you can see the fluid coming out right go you can see the fluid coming out there's a little bit of air coming out too okay a little bit of air coming out too Okay, but it doesn't look like there's much air coming out so we can at this point we can tighten down the bleed screw okay tighten the bleed screw stop okay so what i saw when i did that is maybe just a couple bubbles came out of here but not much came out okay and in that instance it's okay to stop okay just make sure that uh 
you know there's no extra bubbles coming out okay but you can see here that some of the fluid came out of here okay this bread bubble came in early uh, later okay but that wasn't in there okay but there are these little bubbles that came out okay and then we cut caught whatever excess fluid uh, there was into the bottle here okay and now we have to make sure our reservoir still has fluid okay and it does okay but it went down because some of the fluid was pushed in to the system here all right and that's it that's basically that's basically uh bleeding your brakes okay now if you still have a soft spongy uh brake pedal feel you just continue this process over and over again okay and once uh, the fluid has been pushed out of here. Remember to refill the reservoir, okay? But you can already see that the brake fluid here is a little bit dirty, not too bad, but you can see a little bit of dirt, okay? But, uh, you know, we, we loosened the brake bleed screw and immediately once we saw no more bubbles were coming out, we just tightened it back up again, okay? And that's it, so you've bled your brakes. And we are done bleeding our brakes, okay? So we're just gonna put it back under our little pan here. And again, make sure this is tight. Okay, it is, all right? And we're going to disconnect our hose. Okay, careful because fluid will come out. Okay, just like so. Okay, that's why we have our little dish pan here. I right, give it a little wipe down here. Take our wrench out. Okay. And then put our little bleed screw cover back on. Okay, and we are good to go here. Okay, so the other side is exactly the same as the driver's side. Okay, keep that in mind. It's exactly the same. It's just, you know, you just tighten and unscrew accordingly and that's it. Put the wheel back on and we're ready to go. Okay, after you've done both sides, don't forget to put the cap back on the brake fluid reservoir. Okay, so put that back on and make sure the brake fluid level actually is, is good. Okay, make sure if it's too low, add some more. If it's too high, you can take some out by using our napkin method. Okay, and once it's at the right level, just put the cap back on. So now that the brakes have been bled, there should be no air bubbles in the system. The brake pedal should feel really strong and really immediate. And the brakes should work as effective as they were when it rolled off the lot. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to support Kelvin's Garage, please visit one of our affiliate links below. And I'll see you next time on Kelvin's Garage.